Colin here. Yeah, haven't done a video for a while. Just, uh, it's really time consuming doing videos, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to catch up with you what I've been up to. My mates that I went to that helped me make the stand for the new anvil, um, well, Jack came around one day to pick his um, engine crank thing up that he lent me for lifting things, the stand and the anvil. And um, he saw some of my blade making tongs. He said, gee, I've got to get us out of there. And I said, I'll make him some. I mean, that's what you do. Well, that's how I was brought up. <laughs> Mates help you, you help them out. So I made him these. He wanted them 40 mil distance there, about the six mil here. And um, yeah, 40 mil gives you still a good hand grip. I think it's about 40 mil. Let's have a look. Actually 40 mil's about there, so yeah, I did do it right. Good hand grip here. So this stuff will hold your leaf spring stuff. Hang on, I'll find some. Just like your car leaf spring, it should hold that pretty well. I've tightened the rivet up so, and I did the offset ones so it goes past the rivet. As you can see here, when you're holding it, you can have a big long piece that'll go past. So it doesn't go too near your hand in it, but it won't. So I made them for him. Um, then I've been redoing all those tools for the hardy, as you know, the hardy in this anvil was a bodgy size, stupid Chinese thing. I don't like buying Chinese, but I couldn't afford anything better. So I mean, it's still a good anvil. I've I've um, done the horn a bit, I've uh, tried to shape that a bit better on the end, it was a bit too fat, because my other one was a beautiful horn on my little Brisbane one out there that I used for horseshoeing for 30 years or something. Um, I made this the other day, scroll starter inspired by John again from Black Bear Forge. His, his little bit there is more straighter but I wanted mine a bit more hooked. For, put them on because it was wobbling in the hardy hole so much. Um, so I, oh that's made of some leftover uh, weight bar. So it's pretty tough. And then yesterday I was just mucking around. a scroll but then I got sidetracked so I was just starting a scroll yesterday with that I wanted to try that but then I got sidetracked I looked at my guillotine tool and uh, I was, wasn't happy with it I wanted something like what they call the C tight ones but I couldn't be bothered redoing so I cut all mine apart and this is what I've come up with. Oh, I'll see if I can show you. So I cut it all off and I've, I've put it on the corners because I really like the idea of being able to come in here from the side. Not that I've got much room to do anything from the side, but if I've I can go in that far. It has to be pretty thin because this stem is going to close it. Gee, I'm shocking at videoing, especially when I'm holding a tripod. Anyway, so got that done. Cut this off more. Cut the bottom die off more, which I'm going to have to do with the other die, so that 
I could take them out without having to go through up the top here like I used to have to do. So I've done that. I'm just going to cut all the other dies off. Saying these are my full wooden dies. So I might just try that this morning. See how it goes. Had a lot of muck around with this moving. I put a plate on the bottom here and a hole in case the bottom one gets jammed. So I've got a hole there, like they suggest. Um, so I might give that a go this morning. We can have a look at that. Then I'm going to work on some more scrolls because I like scrolling. I'll be back soon, guys.
scrawl, I'm just practicing. So have a go at that.
say about that. do is um, spread out the end of it. Um, you just don't want a flat bar, you want to squash it out a little bit and that spreads the scroll out which is going to be the middle part. And it just looks a lot better.
I think that's alright. Just use your imagination. You could even curl this one up a bit more. Um, that was just a bit of a practice run. I'm not the best at scrolls, but I've done a few. I've done them for a while. Good to keep handy. Like anything with blacksmithing. Andy, I hope you're getting better, mate, too. I'm thinking of you all the time, Cobber. Yeah, I pray for that. What was it, shoulder or something, mate? Yes, I pray for healing, Andy. In Jesus, mate. So there you go, guys. That's what I've been up to. I'm going to go and have a bit of rest. Still a bit hot today. Here in good old Queensland. Hope the weather's a bit cooler in Tassie, mate. Andy. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.